Welcome to another week of The Rundown. This week, Chief of Naval Personnel kicked off the first Career Development Symposium. Adjustments to time and grade waiver policy are announced, and the Navy Suicide Prevention Branch releases an updated resource. The Chief of Naval Personnel welcomed over 500 uniform and civilian personnel to the inaugural Navy Career Development Symposium held in Virginia Beach. During the symposium, Vice Admiral Robert Burke addressed the theme of the Navy in 2025, while setting expectations and encouraged attendees to take advantage of what opportunities were available. Burke stated that the Sailor 2025 program encompasses 43 different initiatives that are constantly evolving. Attendees also had a chance to speak with the Navy detailers, community managers, and various other groups to answer career questions. The Navy also announced an update to the policy for commanders and captains with at least 24 months time and grade to request a waiver to retire at their current rank before completing their 36 month time and grade commitment. The message provides guidance on when officer communities will forward time and grade requests for consideration as well as when to include a next lower grade waiver request. Further information can be found on the NAV Admin 18216. As September approaches, the Navy Suicide Prevention Branch has updated one small act toolkit for Suicide Prevention Month. The toolkit has key messages, event ideas, sample social media messages, plan of the day notes, and more to support you and your local command. It will be distributed directly to suicide prevention counselors and other key influencers, and it also is available on the Suicide Prevention webpage. Find the toolkit and along with other information on Suicide Prevention Month at the website below. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC1 Julia Casper. Thanks for watching.